In this video lecture, we will be looking at building an ER or entity relationship model. So we need to understand first the purpose and scope. So what is this ER model entails and what are the different entities that we're going to keep track of? So we need to identify the entities. We need to have an understanding of the attributes. What are the attributes that we are keeping track of for each of these entities? And what are the data types of the attributes? We also need to know the relationships between the two entities that we want to keep track of. Which are the entities? How are they related together? And also we need to determine the maximum and minimum cardinality. So again, these are some of the steps in the data database modeling. This happens in your requirements gathering, your analysis. And then when we move into the logical design, we are actually trying to take this and create a prototype or an ER model to represent the different entities that we want to keep track of, the attributes, the relationships, and the cardinalities between the relationships. So I've given you some helpful links here. I strongly suggest you to take time to go over this. The first one is a YouTube video that walks you through how to use MySQL Workbench to create a model. And in this video and the following video, that's what our focus is on. But I just thought to give a different perspective as well. We'll be walking through um, looking at how we can create an ER model in Workbench. I've also given you the resources to the MySQL web page on data modeling and relationships. So I strongly again suggest that you take time to review these links. So these are the links again, chapter nine, database design and modeling. This is from MySQL. Um, it goes through um, some details on what it means to model. Um, and also um, this uh, link gives you information on the relationship editor and how it works. Again, this is more for your um, reference purposes when you're creating your ER model in MySQL Workbench, but we'll be walking through those steps as well. So in order to look at creating an ER model in my, uh, MySQL Workbench, we're going to look at an example of a textbook model. Uh, we're going to create a simple ER model for a textbook databases that consist of four entities, textbook, publisher, author, and board. So these are the four entities that we want to keep track of. Again, we are basing this on the assumption that we have already completed the requirements gathering and analysis, and we have the information that we need. Um, so again, it's important that we have the data types. Um, we have to plan for the data types of the attributes, and this also happens in these different stages of your database lifecycle. It's really based on the business rule of the organization, what they're keeping track of. But for this example, um, all the primary keys in the entities will have numeric data type and the rest of the attributes we're going to use variable or character data types. So this is the ER model that we're going to build. Again, it's important that we have an understanding of the different entities, attributes and the cardinalities between the relationships because we're going to look at this and then we're going to bring up MySQL Workbench and see how can we build an ER model. So again, we're keeping track of four entities here. We have publisher, textbook, author, and board. So as you can see here, publisher and textbook are connected together or related together. We have a one to many because your cross foot symbol is at the textbook. So from publisher to textbook, we have a one um, to many. So a publisher can have many textbooks. A textbook is associated with one publisher. The minimum cardinalities in both direction is mandatory, which means publisher needs to have a textbook. Textbook needs to be associated with a publisher. And then we have textbook and author, which have a many to many. So a textbook um, can have many authors and an author can have many textbooks. So that's why it's a many to many relation. So as we have learned in our previous video slide, we would have to create a new entity here and we look at how we can do this in MySQL Workbench. The minimum cardinality again here in both ways is mandatory, which means that textbook needs to have an author. Author needs to be associated with at least one textbook in your tables. Now we have board and publisher and board and publisher have a one to one relation, which means that a publisher is associated with one board and a board 
oversees one publisher. So that's a one-to-one -one relationship. And the minimum cardinality in both directions is mandatory, which means board needs, publisher needs to have a board and a board needs to have a publisher associated. So this is our relationships that we have already pre-established. Again, this is based on our business rule assumptions. And we have four entities here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to see how we can look at this as a reference point and create this in MySQL Workbench. And also, as you can look at each and every of these entities, we can see that they have the attributes. Again, this is determined based on our requirements gathering stage. We know that for publisher ID, for publisher, we are keeping track of publisher ID, publisher name, address, city, and phone. And then for textbook, we are keeping track of ISBN, title, edition, and publisher ID. Publisher ID is placed as a foreign key because you have a one-to-many relation and based on the rule of a one-to-many, the foreign key gets placed in the many side of the entity. Um, we have author here where we're keeping track of author ID, first name, last name, email, and affiliation. And then for board, we are keeping track of board ID, board name, membership. Publisher ID is placed as a foreign key. We have a one-to-one -one relationship between publisher and board. It doesn't matter which entity gets the primary key, but we have this, uh, the foreign key. So, but we have decided to place that in the board entity. So we have publisher ID as a foreign key in the board entity. And then we're also keeping track of publisher phone. So again, these are the different attributes that we're keeping track of. So again, before you start building the, your actual ER model in MySQL Workbench, we need to have a draft idea of the different entities, the attributes and the relationships in terms of the cardinality that exists between the relationships.